What do you get with a crazy person driving a Dodge Charger scat pack in a raging set of police officers? You get yourselves a wild police chase. Let's have a reaction. Straight to it. Okay, he getting behind him. I'm pretty sure he done ran his plates. Go time. We got the road runner. Me, me. <laughs> I wonder if that's an RT or scat pack. Already at hundred. One seventy. I said one seventeen. So we got to be doing about one thirty. Scat pack or RT. This cop can drive. He's on him. He's not losing. He's on him. Oh, they weaving in and out of traffic. The kind of car this cop got is definitely not as strong as Bob was that charger. But he, the cop knows how to drive. He's definitely a good driver. He definitely know what he's doing. He definitely know how to drive. Woo! Good driving by that cop because that could have been worse than what it was. Okay, we got another cop on him now. Tyler. I'm assuming they lost they lost the visual of him. They don't know where he, exactly where he went. But they kind of know the vicinity of where he's at. If I'm guessing right. There 
go. He turned his lights off. He turned his lights off. He tried to go zero dark 30. Look at him. <laughs> oh, they got you, my boy. visual because you know they mics the radio is poor he definitely lost visual yeah okay we got another cop hunter oh whoo they were that close from hitting each other man that's crazy innocent people that's crazy okay we got another guy that's chasing him now his name Anthony he don't got his sirens lights on or nothing or his uh, uh, speaker so we don't really know what he's uh, what what's what's going on in his car but I'm just gonna narrate it real quick he definitely put he, he pulling up behind and they doing like 72 miles an hour that charger gotta need some gas 86 90 miles an hour he pulling up on him. He ooh. Oh, he just ran him. He ain't playing with him. Ooh, he hit him twice. Oh, he jumped out and ran. Y'all ain't seen him run. He jumped out and ran up out of there. He ran. It looked like the uh cops airbags uh deployed too. It looked like his airbag deployed, if I'm not wrong. Who's who getting out the car? Who was that? His girlfriend? Are you just gonna walk away? No, you going to jail, sweetheart. You going to jail too, sweetheart. Get you going to jail too, sweetheart. She jumped out the car like she was gonna go home. You going to jail, sweetheart, or you can tell us who he was <laughs> and we'll let you go. She telling. <laughs> but yeah, this chase was crazy. He had he 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 it took like four cops to catch this guy. And in my opinion, 
the first cop, when he blew the tire, he he, he saved himself because he could he could have slammed into either one of those walls and it could have been much worse. So I'm gonna get a cop. The first cop, he knew how to drive. He was a good driver. <laughs> second cop he just flying through the residential areas doing 117 miles an hour 117 miles an hour in a residential area is diabolical you know how many people he was putting at risk doing those kind of speeds at nighttime on the 4th of july you know how many people is out on the 4th of july you just out there speeding like that come on at some point you got to say listen it's the 4th of july a lot of people are out now I can't be speeding like this through this area doing these type of speeds. Drunk people could have walked in front of them because you know they do, they do a lot of drinking on the 4th of July. People could have pulled out in front of them, you know. And when it's nighttime, you can't, your judgment is off a little bit because you can't really tell how far the cop could be from you. So you could turn in front of him thinking that he's uh, further away than he really is. He can run into you. It's just so many variables that could have happened that could have went wrong for the cop. The second one. But then he lost him. And then the third cop, I don't know what his name was, it Tyler or what, Hunter, he had tunnel vision. This is what tunnel vision is. Put your hands by in so you can't see nothing out your peripheral because all he cared about was the chase. He had so much tunnel vision, he couldn't see anything. So by the time he realized the car that he ran into the back of was not the, uh, the right car, it was too late. You hit innocent people. Those are innocent people that he hit. He could have hurt those people. Let's pray, let's pray that he did not hurt those people that he ran into the back of them because he was doing like 70 miles an hour. why you shouldn't be chasing people in a residential area sometimes you got to say you know what it's not even worth it we got his plates if the car either stolen or it's his car or it's his friend's car but we know what where, where the car is we know what where, where the car is going and if it's stolen we don't know where it's going but it is what it is it, it, it'll probably pop back up again and we found it one time we we'll probably find it again or they're gonna take it to the chop shop but don't be putting innocent people at risk just because your pride your cop pride would not let y'all call that chase off. And once the first cop blew his tires, you knew they weren't going to call the chase off because now, now you done embarrassed them. Now you done embarrassed them. Now they got to chase you. But they don't have to, but they decided to chase them. Innocent people got, got ran into. Yeah, they made the, they did run into him at the end. And I don't even know if they caught him because he was running. But I'll, I'll leave in the description everything that happened. I'll leave the little police report in there. Uh, thanks to uh, L.R. H N. I will leave a link in the description to his channel as well as the original video, and I will leave in the description everything that happened in this uh, certain case. But I did see him jump out. I did see him when it at the end of the video, the guy that was driving or the girl they jumped out and ran, and then his girlfriend got out the car thinking she was cool, like she was just gonna go home. No, nah, baby, straight to the interrogation room. What was his name or her name? Where do they live? And is the car this this car stolen? And give us all the information, and we're gonna let you go. That's what they was gonna say. We're gonna let you go, but we, you gotta give us something. But uh, with that being said, hopefully, y'all enjoyed this video. <sighs> let me know something on this one, though, y'all. Do y'all think cops be getting reckless when they be chasing people through residential areas? Because I really think they be getting they, they just something in their mind that makes them not be able to think when they're chasing at 100 and some miles an hour in a residential area. On the 4th of July. Don't you think that's dangerous? Leave in the comments. Is that too dangerous for you to, for a cop to be chasing somebody in a residential area? Should they or should they not call off the chase? Now I can see if this guy did something, had kidnapped a kid or, you know, something like that. But just to be chasing them, to be chasing them over a warrant or a little bitty speeding ticket, 
I don't think this, I don't, I don't think this justifies doing 117 in a residential. I just don't. As you can see, they was chasing them in a residential area and they ran into the back of somebody. Let me know how y'all feel about that in the comments. But with that being said, shout out to everybody that's watching my videos. Shout out to my supporters. I really appreciate y'all. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I've really been growing. I really, I really, really, really appreciate y'all. And again, shout out to LRHN. Go follow his or her YouTube channel. And I will leave a link to their channel as well as the original video. Just in case you want to go watch the original video instead of a reaction video. Because my video is a reaction video. You can go watch the original video without me in it if you want to. I'll leave a link in the description. But with that being said, y'all stay blessed up, stay safe, and hey, don't you be running from the police. Even if you got a scat pack. <laughs> Be the plan, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely Be 